Hi, good evening. I am poem praise to peace and blessings to you. I do have an evening read for you this evening. We are going to be coming out of Coping with Your Partner's Jealousy by Nina Brown. We are currently in chapter number eight, y'all. And for this take, these are things to do internal actions. Okay? And I'm going to just let you know this chapter that we're talking about. Because we're completing chapter number eight. And once we're done with this, I do have a, a poetry book that's going to come. Okay? So stay tuned for that one. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into things to do. The internal actions. There are some tactics and strategies that can be helpful in the immediate situation. And we now turn to them. There, these are divided into two categories, internal feelings and thoughts, and external actions and responses. You can use the following inner resources to help you cope and diffuse your partner's jealousy. They are reminders of what your partner's underlining reasons are for her jealousy and provide support for yourself and help keep you centered and grounded. Do remember that you are not your partner's parent. Remind yourself that retaliation is not an option. Leave others out of the conflict. Accept that your partner may switch from the grandiose self to the impoverished without notice, without notice. Stay in touch with your thoughts and feelings. Now it's going to give a breakdown. Remember that you are not a parent. Why is this necessary? Hmm. You know that you are not your partner's parent, and she knows that. It may seem unnecessary and silly to say something like this, but you may be using non-conscious and unconscious behavior and attitudes that reflect the parental role and not the equal adult role. Yes, your partner may act childish at times, but that is not a signal for you to assume the parental role. The adult role is one in which you expect and allow her to take responsibility for her actions, thoughts, feelings, and ideas. Avoid retaliation. You may find it necessary at some point to remind yourself that it is not helpful to retaliate. You may want to hurt her just like she is hurting you. But that is not helpful for you or for the relationship. If you should contemplate retaliation, you can stop at that point and consider the pros and cons for doing this. You can win, but you could lose. And both of you could end up being angry, hurt, and upset. You don't have to respond by acting childish yourself or by assuming the parental role. Leave others out. Don't let the thought even cross your mind to bring others into the conflict or the jealous tirade. Few will want to be a part of this kind of conflict. 
and the few that would want to be involved would not do or say anything helpful for the relationship. Your motive may be to try to involve someone whom your partner might listen to and be influenced by. She might give in and agree with this person at this point, but she would carry some lingering resentment toward both of you for getting support for your side. Accept your partner's switches. Your partner may easily and swiftly switch from one state to the other without warning. And this can be very disconcerting. For example, she may start off in the grandiose state by saying something like, how dare you do this to me? Only to switch to the impoverished state with her next comment by saying something like, I guess I'm not good enough for you. You can stay very busy and very ineffective responding to these. And the switching adds to your internal confusion and anxiety. You can quickly get to the point where you don't know how to respond, since our next comment always seems to catch you off guard. Don't try to anticipate or respond to either state. If you can stay centered and ground it and make your responses calm, mild, and in the general area of her comments, you can diffuse much of her anxiety. For example, to the first comment that came from the Grandois state, you can respond with something like this. You're offended by something you think I did. Or, I can see that you're upset. A response to the second comment from the impoverished state could be, I gave you my heart because you were good enough. Or, you're my darling, no matter what comes along. The task is to just accept that she will switch and to try and to not try to keep up with the switches. And this last one in this section is stay in touch with your thoughts and feelings. Practice staying in touch with your thoughts and feelings during interactions with your partner when she is jealous. Yes, you do want to reach out to her, but you will be more effective if you can tune in to what you are thinking, feeling at the same time. When you tap into your current thoughts and feelings, you can, I have eight of them for you. Remind yourself to not respond in kind. Use your emotional shielding. Make self-affirming statements. Get a handle on what your partner may be experiencing. Analyze immediate interactions. Think of constructive responses not get caught up in her irrationality. And number eight, realize when you may be catching her feelings. This does complete this section, things to do, internal actions. Stay tuned to Poem Praise 2 when we read out of Coping with Your Partner's Jealousy. We're going to go over things to do. External actions. So I do thank you for listening to this take of Coping with Your Partner's Jealousy. If you are not a subscriber, you can go ahead and subscribe at this time. Like 
you can share and certainly hit that notification bell. You know, when I, Poem Praise 2, is coming with something new for you. I do want for you and your family. I want you to be safe, to be well, to be blessed. And let us all continue to heal, it be it thy will. Ah, a poem praise too. I'll talk and I'll see y'all later. Later. All right, later y'all. Till next time. Peace and blessings.